Hi, I'm John. I'm from Aero Fluid Power Tech Support. And today we're going to be going over the Aero, Aero Flow line of filter regulator lubricators. I want to talk how to set them up, how to use them, and the different configurations you can get this product. Let's talk about changing the filter element or servicing the filter. These are from the 2000 series. One is the metal bowl with the sight glass. One is the polycarbonate bowl with the guard. Start off by removing the bowls and with the metal bowl you will simply just turn it counterclockwise and remove exposing the filter element. For the polycarbonate bowl you will first pull down on the guide and then turn it counterclockwise to remove the bowl. And again we've exposed the filter element. Now we can gently turn counterclockwise on the baffle which will then allow us to remove the filter element. And the baffle is screwed into the body of the filter. Once we get that removed we can again pull out the filter element. I want to show you what a used filter looks like. I'm going to take the bowl off of this piggyback and you can see how it is brown. That is due to two things. Number one, the amount of dirt going through it and sediment from the piping system, as well as any oils or water as well. Now let's compare that with a new filter element. What I have in my hand is a replacement 5 micron element, and that's what the originally was in here. That's what they look like as they start to age. If something were to occur to the bowl and gets cracked or damaged, you can replace the bowl entirely. And what you'll get is the bowl with the O-ring and the drain that you have. So remember to specify properly that this is a poly bowl with an auto drain. That's what I would need for this particular application. I can also get a poly bowl with a manual drain. Likewise, a metal bowl with either a manual or auto drain or a metal bowl with a sight glass and again either the manual or the auto drain. Replacement of the element is pretty easy. This is a polyethylene 5 micron element which comes standard with the unit. We also have an optional 40 micron polyethylene element as well as a 0.3 coalescing element. Replacement of the mall is pretty standard. Here we have the deflector in the filter body. I'm going to place the element in place and then take the baffle and screw it into the filter body. When you're putting the baffle and the element back in place in terms of how, how, uh, how tight do you make it, how much torque do you put on, and we're going to basically go down to there is finger tight and then maybe a little bit more. Don't over torque it because some of these components could crack and then replacement is difficult. And when you have it in place again just put the bowl back onto the element. This filter has a service indicator on top of it and that's an option which is available with the filters. It in this case is green because we will have free flow going through the filter. If you start to have back pressure caused by the filter element clogging up this will go from green to yellow and then to red. It's a means of indicating when you need to either clean out the filter element or simply replace it. If you have any of these and have questions, you can call Tech Support at 800-495-0276. Thanks.